Alright. My name is Lula Gamosi. If you're new here, click on the subscribe button. Welcome. Um, this is my first video of 2023. <laughs> Needed to get that one right. Um, my first video of 2023. Um, yeah, I'm excited to have a little bit of a chit chat. Just talk about just a recap of the previous year, how I came into this year, and you know some of the things I'm looking forward to. So yeah, let's get going, right? Yeah, let's get going. <laughs> so yeah, 2022, oh, what a blessing of a year, man. Um, I think the biggest thing for me um, in 2022 was that God blessed me a lot materially. Um, and what's crazy is that it, it, was, it, was, it was a weird year um, that spiritually I did not do well. Um, and I, I feel like these certain things matter. I mean, you know, you go through your life and you feel like, mm, this was not a good work year or mm, this was not a good year relationally, but this side was like better. Financially, I was better. So I, I really feel like in terms of my life, work was amazing. My friendships were amazing. I feel like financially things were amazing. I feel like I experienced new things. I feel like God gave me so much money last year. <laughs> more money than i've ever seen in my own life in my bank account and i i feel like because of that that is like really my top highlight i mean i have actually um a gratitude journal which i write every single year um yeah i write a gratitude journal every single year at the end of the year um and i literally list everything like i go back in my mind from like january and I literally just go down and think about the beautiful things that have happened in each and every single month. Sometimes I do it monthly and not really at the end of the year. But um, for 2022, I um, I did my journal on my phone, like literally towards the, la the last few days of 2022. Um, so it was really just, just seeing all of that for me was just amazing. Um, and there are definitely obviously a few areas that need some work. <laughs> which actually yeah i'll come to in terms of like my 2023 but you know usually um for crossover i usually would go to church and this is before covid so literally 2019 backwards like six years i i was crossing over at church and 2020 obviously we were all like indoors um i actually don't even remember what i was doing on new year's eve in 2020 um i know in 2021 i was in cape town with my friend um, but I was actually alone because she decided to go to some friends for a bribe and then I decided to stay um, at her place um, for the crossover um, Because I just wanted to pray, you know, um, and I was actually I was feeling hopeful like that year going into 2022 um, I was hopeful. I was like Yeah, you know like like yeah like lord you know like wishing for quite a lot you know in my heart and praying also for like a few things you know um and then coming into 2023 guys yay it was so different it felt sad for me it felt i was crying most of that day on new year's eve you know i went away for like uh, three days yeah two nights um, I went to Mahalisburg, you know, just to quieten down and I just, guys, I was just not okay. I remember having a phone call with my friend Lara and Lara and I were on the phone crying together. <laughs> oh my God. Lara and I were on the phone crying. I was crying and she was crying obviously because I was crying, you know, because I was just sad. And then I think I went to bed more ten. Like I went to bed at like 10 o'clock. I didn't even do any like, you know, I prayed before I slept, but I didn't like do any crossover prayer, none of that. I literally only prayed when I woke up in the morning. So it was a very weird coming into, you know, um, 2023. It's, it just, yeah, like my heart was like all sorts, you know? 
And it's not to say that I was not grateful for the year. I was, but I was disappointed about certain things. I was disappointed, you know. Um, so coming into 2023, it, yeah, it was just a weird thing. Um, and a lot of people are now doing the first fruits fast, which is, you know, first 21 days, you know, um, or giving, you know, your month of January to the Lord. And I am currently in something like that um, for January uh, with a particular ministry. And we meet every single morning at like 7 a.m. It's actually a Nigerian ministry. Um, we meet every single morning at 7 a.m. I've been really blessed by that, like extremely blessed. I actually can't wait you know for more because i've received a lot of i've received a lot of healing through all of those prayer calls and some of them were like therapy sessions like fantastic people have come through because there's like different guests it's been great it's been it's been phenomenal so i, I that for me is just it's, it's getting me back spiritually where i really wish i would be you know i learned something recently um, when i was reading isaiah 43 right 18 um, when it says forget the former things right and i think a lot of the time we think about forgetting former things as just forgetting the past or forgetting bad things that have happened but also i think forgetting the former things is also about forgetting how you wish your life was right especially in a good time that you remember you know when you remember like oh before covid none of this was happening um before covid things was just so 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 good my relationship with god was like this when i was like 25 which to be honest in my 20s my relationship with god was amazing right especially in my late 20s and sometimes i sit down and i'm like oh i wish it was like that again and in my mind i'm just like but the word of god says forget the former things because he's doing something new and i feel like we still we need to discover the newness of our relationship with god and the changes that it comes with so i think that's one thing that's important um is is, is not dwelling on the past of you know what used to be nice but discover this new particular way or this new particular thing with god you know so yeah um, I'm trying my best to do that, <laughs> to behold a new thing with God. Sometimes you, I feel like a really big failure in terms of my walk. And my walk is literally my life. It's my every day because every single area of my life, which I'll go into now in terms of 2020, like three, you know, every area of my life is literally encompassed in God. Because if I have to ask God about my career, I, like he's involved. If I have to ask God about like family relationships, friendships, a relationship, like absolutely everything, my finances, like my education, whatever the case may be, it's encompassed in him. So it's like everything has to be consulted, you know, like, yeah. So when, when, I'm, when I'm not prayerful, when I'm not um, I'm reading the word as much as I should, when I'm not like indulged in like different type of ministry, whether it's Bible studies, whether it's sermons, whether it's podcasts that are um, Christian or, or, you know, Christ focused, like I sometimes feel like a failure. And um, that's how I felt for the last six months of 2022. I did not feel great at all. And, but was, what, what's crazy is that I was still sort of, getting things from god you know like getting certain revelations you know that even if i wasn't having a lot of quiet time that because my mind is so trained to have him in my life in a daily minute by minute kind of way because i think about him a lot you know like when i'm working and i'm like but lord but this but that um daddy how do i do this like it's not like i don't have sit down i i didn't have sit down long prayers with him but i would have thoughts where i am asking him questions where i am what is this lord <laughs> you know so it's like i am still in conversation with him but it's it was more in my mind than it was out of my mouth you understand what i mean so yeah it, it wasn't great and i really wanted to start off on a better foot this year which i really believe i have i feel a little bit better um and i feel like when things are spiritually aligned in my life everything else gets aligned you know um so yeah like uh, I, just one more thing around like 2022 right um and also i just want to mention this because i'm seeing a lot of like vision board um 
uh, videos from like influencers and you know people who do YouTube and they're doing a lot of like vision boards and Mina would recommend this is just a, a suggestion or recommendation from me if you're gonna do a vision board and you're still in the middle of the first fruits fast your 21 days rather do your vision board at the end of Jan when the fast is over when God has said something <laughs> you know when God has spoken maybe spoken about some plans maybe place some desires in your heart that's what it means by the way in Psalm 37 4 when he says he'll give you the desires of your heart it's because he plants things in your heart he doesn't just give you something that you want from your flesh he plants desires that's how he gives you the desires of your heart so that he can actually manifest something that he actually spoke which is what Isaiah now 55 speaks about which is the word that comes out of God mouth, God's mouth will not return void so all the scriptures sort of work together but um I just wanted to yeah make a note of that do your vision board at the end of the month yeah maybe you'll you'll see something different than what you had been wanting on the first of january for example um i will not be doing a vision board um the reason is in 2017 <laughs> funny enough in 2017 i did a vision board it was in january and about 2019 this is definitely before covid and it's definitely before i moved into this house um i, I destroyed that vision board I destroyed it but I remember exactly what was on it because I'd been staring at it for like two years and nothing on that vision board happened absolutely like not, I felt like what is going on like why is it still in my house it's even taking up space like I was getting really irritated with it so I literally destroyed it can I tell you that the things that God materially blessed me with last year a lot of them were from that vision board from 2017 which is crazy right <laughs> so clearly god still remembers me and the thing is this is now five years later literally five years later like for example on that vision board i had um, new york on it it was actually written a south african in new york in the words and that actually happened last year and i also did not come into the year expecting to go to new york it was really like a very spur of the moment thing from work they wanted me to go there and work but it was a blessing for me because god was just like I'm taking you where you've always wanted to go and it's not at your expense so for me that was a major blessing I had Maldives and Mauritius on there and I went to the I went to Mauritius last year um, there was something else that was a debt-free living and I'm now debt free like there was a lot of things that you know <laughs> when I think about them now I'm like oh okay so okay you heard me back then so <laughs> in 2020 I was doing a leadership course through the company that I was working with um, and in that leadership course that guy who was coaching me he asked me to do a vision board so I did a vision board um, only because he had asked me to but I had not done one yet and it was literally in the middle of the year so yeah it was in the middle of the year and then um, in 2021 I'm sorry 2020 yeah 2021 yes is it 2021 I'm so confused. Is it 2021? I feel like I'm confusing the years. This might be 2021, 2022. Yes. So in 2021, I did that leadership vision board, right? But it wasn't based just purely on work. He actually was asking me if I were to look at your life in the next however many years, what would that look like for you? So for me, I felt like that was like a vision board because I did put like um I put like three properties because I want to have like three properties. I put like children. I put like marriage. I put like scriptures in there. I put pictures of different destinations that I want to travel to. So it was literally a vision board in my eyes. Um, and then in 2022, uh, we had a retreat here at my house. Um, on the last day of our fast, on, the, on day 21, the ladies came over. They slept over here. And literally, we were doing vision boards in the middle of the night. But we were doing like digital ones, which is exactly the same as I did um, the previous year. It's a, di a digital one. Um, and then we basically all shared the things that were on our vision board. And we individually prayed for every single person after they had shared their vision board. You know, praying that, you know, these desires are, are led by the Lord. And that these desires, God will manifest. So that's the reason why I'm not doing a vision board this year because all the things that are actually on those two vision boards they're actually very similar I even think they're like practically identical um, but they have not yet come to pass and because of that I'm, I don't want to be keep you know adding on vision board after vision board after vision board 
the stuff is already there so for me i'm just gonna wait for the manifestation of it so because they they is still on my um my google drive they're still there they still exist <laughs> i haven't actually looked at them in a, in a very very long time so that's the reason i'm not gonna do a vision board for 2023 what i would like to do is a gratitude board actually i just want to get a blank black or white board and that will be my gratitude board and then when things happen i actually want to put it up on the gratitude board so whatever it is that i feel like i i really was expectant for um or even if it's a surprise because god loves the surprise <laughs> whoa <laughs> God loves a surprise guys So whatever God surprises me with Or whatever God um, answers in terms of a prayer Something that's been a prayer request um, I'm going to put it up there as a praise report So it's basically like a gratitude praise report Board Which I will get at some point And then I will start putting stuff on it So yeah So that's what I've like planned to do um, In terms of like plans for 2023 Guys I actually only have one thing that i want i just want to be in a relationship and that's it like that's literally it i, I just want to be in a relationship it's the only thing i want i think if that thing does not happen this year i would consider this year as like a failure because that's the only thing that i want like it's the only thing i want to be in a relationship i mean i would love to get married still in this year which is very possible um really nothing is possible people's lives have changed in a year um, so I, w I would love that um, But yeah, a relationship is like It's number one I've got other things that I am doing But for me, those things in a way It's like they don't even need prayer You know, because I have the money to study And I have already applied I'm just waiting to register You know, like those things are so possible They don't need prayer Like it's like the money is there I can just do it, you know And yeah, so education I'm doing this year That's definitely... Uh, one thing i'm going back to school in in, in pursuing post-grad uh, degree um so yeah there's that and then there's something else that i i'm doing a certification that i'm doing those for me are like it's part of it's part of like living you know part of like my career and the things that i've wanted to be doing you know um even traveling i, I would like to travel obviously with work my role is literally like 30 30 to 40 percent travel so already that is going to happen that's guaranteed in this year there's a lot of projects that are outside of south africa that are already like scheduled to happen so i already know that is actually happening um in terms of personal travel though i don't actually know if i will travel personally to my own like destination and the reason is because i have like a separate financial commitment that i've made um, it's like an undertaking of 12 months essentially that I it's like a project a personal project that requires my money essentially so I'm gonna be putting like um, a lot of my money towards that so yeah everything else to be honest by the grace of God you know oh and I'd like to save money now that I'm debt free just by the way me I guys me I'm not a saver eh? I'm, not, I'm not a saver terribly like I'm not a saver <laughs> But like savings is actually something I want to have <laughs> in like abundance, you know, but also really, to be honest, my life, the grace of God has carried me throughout literally the entire grace of God throughout my entire career, throughout my entire adult life. The grace of God has carried me with absolutely no savings. And I'm not saying people must not save, save money, <laughs> save money, you know, um, like I've never like relied on oh i have savings you know so i've got a cushion a cushion does make you comfortable but mina i've never had that thing sitting there whether it's like a hundred thousand sitting there two hundred thousand three hundred thousand i mean some people have a lot of money millions they've saved millions of monies they've got millions even in investments in unit trusts and tax-free savings accounts in in so so many things so i actually want to be one of those people at some point <laughs> I want to be one of those people so um, I would like to do that it's just that my problem is that I feel like I live like me I live because anything can happen <laughs> anything can happen but yeah um yeah I'd like to save money um, I'd like to travel if I can I mean if, if it's possible um, if, if there's an opportunity somewhere in this year 
um to like book a trip and go somewhere i'm definitely gonna go somewhere i have a list on my phone in terms of like destinations where i'd like to go by myself destinations where i'd like to go with my bay destinations where like it's maybe friends or whatever the case may be or a group of other people that you don't know that you're traveling with so yeah because there's certain countries that i want to visit but i'm very scared to go by myself so i think it's important that yeah that's why i've categorized them because yeah so, some of them i'm just i'm a bit scared um and also i've heard yeah and i've read and i've seen on instagram people posting about destinations that might not be safe or whatever the case may be so yeah there's the travel thing is always going to be something that is on my every year like i just want to go somewhere it's nice to go places guys it's really really nice and i pray everyone gets the opportunity to do that get out of the country get a, a passport i mean if you're dreaming for it at least 400 rand guys 400 rand home affairs passports get a passport you know at least let god see that okay she wants to go somewhere you know so yeah so traveling most definitely oh yes so on the on the other flip side of things like relationally i really really wanna like build stronger family relationships this year um apart from like the relationship <laughs> top priority guys i'm telling you even if school did not work out even if the other stuff didn't even if i never traveled this year if i got into a relationship i've won i have won 2023 please understand i've won it i i'm done i'm done i'm done everything else don't even matter to me shame not in this year i'm so sorry not in this year so because this, there's just this my friends will know this there's a lot of work that god has been doing in me and i just know it's time <laughs> i it's time i it really is so it's it's as simple as that guys i'm pretty sure you guys would have wanted me to list like ten thousand things there really isn't ten thousand things oh yes there's one more thing here even if that doesn't happen either i don't care i wrote you that i want to lose 10 kilograms that's not difficult <laughs> in my eyes that's not a difficult thing to do you know um i mean i would love to be motivated to go to the gym you know what i actually want in terms of working out i want my husband to wake me up at like five o'clock in the morning and i want him to drive me to the gym because right now i do not have the motivation to drive myself to the gym it's not there it doesn't exist anymore it's gone and what's crazy is that last year i had a personal trainer for like what two months or something like that and i would drive to the gym but it's and but it's because he held me accountable like he held me accountable he would message me the night before are you coming tomorrow morning obvious i would have to put an alarm on i would meet him there but i have to pay him at the end of the month so i have there's a cost <laughs> But if I have a husband who also likes to work out, especially in the morning, because I really, really want to work out in the morning. And the reason why is because now the evenings no longer work for me. Um, I have meetings at night because I work for an American company. We have meetings at six, at seven, at eight. You know, like literally my day is longer because in, in terms of work, so I can work like a nine to nine, essentially like 12 hours. So mornings now work better for me. So if I can have a guy, in my house or in his house or whatever house we get together whatever the case may be i just want to be woken up baby wake up it's time for the gym i wake up i put my gym clothes on i brush my teeth literally get into the car he drives me to the gym he fetches me from the gym or like we going to gym together whatever the case may be i just want that motivation i feel like that's the only way i'll go to the gym but other than that i will lose the weight because of eating properly i'm saying that in inverted commas guys because yeah that whole thing of cutting out a whole bunch of things out of my diet things that i enjoy eating it doesn't work for me um yeah so essentially my weight i feel like will always just be up and down up and down up and down until i make a decision that you know what the up and down thing is not working for me anymore and i'm just going to yeah i'm just gonna have a healthy lifestyle I'm never gonna eat this again because it makes me fat because i know the foods that make me fat and 
yeah and i know the conditions that i have in terms of my body and how my body reacts and how my hormone levels um are at the moment and yeah and yeah the issues essentially i'm aware of all my issues um yeah and I, there's just certain things that i just need to yeah do but i am gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm just aiming for like eight to ten kilograms not not a lot because what i realized is that when i was small in 2021 I had, I had lost like a good 10 yeah 10 to 12 kilograms at that time and i was small like i was small and i did not necessarily like it because to be i like big boobs i like my bum i like i like it the only thing i don't like is my cover that's it but the problem is that when you lose weight you lose everything <laughs> You lose everything and then the mkava is like the number last to go. <laughs> so it, it's quite unfortunate that it works that way. So I am going to keep a little bit of fat on my body to be honest because I want to still keep my curves. So yeah, it is what it is. So yeah guys, we are in it. We are in 2023. Pray for me. Pray for your girl. For her to have a relationship. It's the only thing I want. Legit, that's it. And it's gonna happen because God loves me. And there is no way in hell anything anyone could ever do that could ever stop this plan of the Lord. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> Guys, have an amazing year. I wish you all the best in all the plans that you have. I pray that they are God breathed because that is just so, so important. Um, and that God confirms everything for you and that you're not out here doing your own thing. You know, and that you're forever, ever consulting with God. If you're looking for a job, I pray to the Lord Jesus Christ that he gives you that job that you have just been yearning for. He has your name on it. He's already spoken to the people that when your CV lands over there, that is the one that will catch the eye. I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus for you, he will bless you. He will bless you. He will bless you. He will open up the floodgates for you um, in that particular area. If you're struggling financially, I pray that you will sow seed. I pray that you will reap harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. I just pray for you guys. I pray for you. I pray for you in your relationships. To so, um, all the people that I know, my friends and people that I don't even know who might see this video, who are wanting to be in, in marriage. There is nothing wrong in wanting to be in marriage. Please understand that. Um, don't ever let anyone make you feel like oh, you're becoming like oh, you're idolizing marriage. You know that there's so many YouTube videos about idolizing marriage. First of all, why, why do you want me to spend my 30s, my 40s, my 50s by myself? It makes no damn sense. Like if you want it, you want to have a family, keep praying for it. God wants it for you. Like if it's still a, a desire that just sits in your heart like it is what it is like don't ever let people make you feel ashamed that's another big thing don't let people make you feel ashamed for wanting to be married for wanting a partner in your life for wanting a family for wanting children as long as it's all for the glory of god and it's not just a selfish desire that you want for yourself but that you want god to be glorified in it and you can even allow god to use that marriage for the public literally for people to see because your marriage needs to show what the church actually is the relationship between christ and the church it's like literally perfection so let us see it we want to see it we want to see you getting married we want to see you having children please i pray that you will receive it if that is what you want in your life in the name of jesus christ i pray for travel for you i pray for peace in your heart literally like i pray for peace in your heart i pray that you will have like joy joy that even when you wake up and you might be frustrated and you have feelings about certain things that there will still be a joy that is kept in your heart and that you have peace of mind because peace peace is so <laughs> yeah and it's like it's crazy that you can't buy this thing peace is so irreplaceable like there's nothing like it like i pray that you will have the peace that jesus gives not the one that the world gives not the one that a bank account with a million rands and savings gives. No, the Jesus kind of peace that he gives. I pray that you'll have that peace. I just pray you receive everything that you want. You see everything that you want and the timing that God wants, just receive. Believe it and receive it. 
I will always be an advocate of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm still the same girl. I don't believe in anything else. I don't believe in anything else. I'm still the same girl. I'm still a Jesus girl. <laughs> yeah, so I wish you all the best. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share the video, share it any way that you want. I pray it blessed you. And yeah, I will continue to be on YouTube um, this year as much as I can. Um, I'm actually planning on buying a Canon camera soon, um, a vlogging camera, because I actually need it. I need a lot of equipment, which I will be getting this year, um, just to improve the quality of the videos that I have on YouTube. Um, and I just be because I enjoy it. I just enjoy being on here. Um, I do think, though, that my heart leans more towards these kind of videos, like story time videos discussion videos i will have more of my friends because <laughs> i have a lot of them <laughs> i will have more of my friends on this channel um in this year so i hope you enjoy also those conversations um yeah i will vlog here and there um vlogging is it's not necessarily my thing <laughs> but when i watch it what's crazy i like it like when i watch the the video that i created i'm like huh, okay hmm i'm actually a little bit I'm, I'm quite proud of myself so I'm hoping that by the end of this year, um, I'm just hoping that I'll be on a thousand subscribers. That's like my goal. Like just, just literally a thousand. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah. So by the grace of God, that will happen. Um, yeah. And I hope you enjoy the content. Have an amazing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful year. Mwah.